Makes me feel horrible. I don't have a dress. Wah, 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 wah. Amanda, a bride two sizes too big for a gown. I don't know. I just am ready to give up on it. Lee, a groom who's totally MIA. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. If I ask him another question, like, what's your name? He's going to say, oh, I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. Will even Jane Day's hinge have enough rope to lasso all these problems? This wedding has one arm tied behind its back, and its name is Lee. Write down the names of the people that have already put their names on them, which isn't really that hard. Really? When they first met, Amanda and Lee didn't send the proverbial sparks flying. She thought I was uh, arrogant and rude. Yeah, he was arrogant and rude. I thought she was bitchy. Yeah. But turn off the electricity and let the magic begin. There was a big city by blackout, and uh, we had met up at, uh, at a bar. And... <laughs> One thing led to another. Oh, Mother Nature and her wondrous gifts. Before she got pregnant, I asked her to marry me. But this beautiful skin-tight dress, designer dress, and then two months later, I found out that I was pregnant again. But what Mama Nature has given, oh, she doesn't awesome. always taketh away. Wow. But wait. This bride has become too big for her britches. Um, suck it in, Amanda. Suck. Are you sucking in? Yes. I don't have a dress. As of right now, I don't know what to do. My wedding's in a couple weeks. I don't have anything to wear, and I love that dress. So with only 12 days to go, Amanda's wedding dress dream is in tatters. But at least she has Lee to comfort her. I'm not really worried about it because I don't have to wear the dress. I don't think he's upset at all. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. The ceremony site, reply cards, bridesmaids' dresses. She needs the help so that she's not so stressed and she's not bothering me so much. Oh, if we don't get help, I think, I think the wedding's gonna fall apart. Well, fear not, my lovely bride-to-be. Your fairy godmother, Jane Deus Hinch, and her marvelous assistant, Michael, are here to fix your fears. This is a wedding venue. Why do you think all the guests are gonna park? She's wedding. brought three wishes to put the wonderful right back into this wedding. I got your wedding SOS. What seems to be the problem? Uh, I don't know. I have no clue what's going on, so that's a problem. The bridegroom doesn't know what's going on. Yeah. Where are we now? What's... This is where we're having our ceremony. I found it quite difficult to find here. How are your guests going to find? Have they got maps? Nope. Uh, no, they don't. Hopefully they know how to use the internet. <laughs> how does a reasonable person think that their guests are going to find the directions to the wedding? Do they think they're psychic? And what's the biggest problem you've got at the moment? The biggest problem we got at the moment is her dress not fitting. Just uh, one the dress that's probably the most star important. Of the show. These are problems from 12 months ago, and they should have been sorted then. Are we working to a budget with the wedding? We are. Have we blown the budget then? I don't know. So how come Lee doesn't know what the budget is for the wedding? Because Lee would flip his lid if <laughs> Lee knew about the budget. This wedding has one arm tied behind its back, and its name is Lee. We have to get him on board. But Lee is on board with some things, i.e. his manly locks. Have you got a hair appointment booked? I do have my hair appointment booked. Right. And back to the bride. No. No hair appointment. If we don't get this organized, I'm going to have a bride getting out of a car going, the dress didn't fit, look at my hair, two children on hit are going, take me as I am. Yeah, we're kind of ready to give up on it. Giving up on it? is not an option. How do we sort this one out? We've got to go and make a plan, a big plan. And what a plan it is. It's enough to make a grown man weep, or in Lee's case, pretend it doesn't exist. I don't really know what's going on with the wedding, and I don't really want to know. Sorry, Lee, reality sucks. This is where I think we need to start. From when your guests arrive, the parking seemed to be a problem. You need to do a seating plan. We still haven't decided whether you're going to have a runner running down the middle to create an aisle. But what's a runner? If you're going to have any flowers or any bows or any decoration, at the moment it's a garden with 60 chairs in it. I'll take care of that, the decor. Yeah? Yep. No, I'd prefer if he didn't. Do you even know what the backdrop looks like? 
It's that big purple thing. It's not. Oh, okay, cool. I don't have to deal with it. Thanks. It's not rocket science. I mean, it'll be pretty easy. Wedding dress. We have dress, but we can't get into it. Huge problem. <laughs> Am I keeping you up? Wah, 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 wah. No, no, it's good. And you say you've done your speech? I'm just going to wing mine. You are not winging it. This is the most important speech of Lee's life. How can you wing that? Can you see how big a problem this is? It was overwhelming, the amount of information that we didn't have, like, planned. Fairy godmother, and I give you three wishes. Use them wisely. If you waste them, this wedding could be a catastrophe. I'm going to keep one of those wishes so that if I need to use it, I can. We'll talk about that later. I've had such a hard time exercising. I, it's so hard to leave. There's nobody to watch the kids. I don't have it in my budget to buy another dress, so it has to fit. Like, something has to be done. With only 10 days left till the wedding, it's time to call in the special forces. Hi, Jane. It's Amanda. Here comes the fairy godmother with the mostest. How big a problem are we talking? It's about, I think, two sizes too small. Ooh. How much do you love this dress? I love that dress. You love the dress? I love it. This is desperate. This is a wish. It has to be a wish. I, I have to have a wedding dress. We need to take you to bridal boot camp, but that is going to be punishing. Yes. This is going to be so cruel. So Jane enlists her assistant, Michael, to help Amanda's quest for the dress. We're going to have to put her on a diet, no carbs, and a really good exercise routine. I can do it. Let me do it. I was a bar mitzvah dancer once. I can totally take charge of the situation, Jane, and I can help her work out. Bring on the tough love of the fit and the fabulous. OK, you're in charge then. OK. But I'll be watching. OK, Michael's up to bat. Can you, you squat? Ready? Can you squat? All right, here we go. One, two, three, and down. Work that tushy. All ready? We're going to go up and down. Nice and tight. While Amanda gives major league effort, Lee's speech writing skills aren't fit for the minors. Enter Coach Jane. If he hasn't done his speech, I'm going to motivate him. How'd you start, then? Thank you all for coming tonight. I'd like to also thank my wife for looking so damn good tonight. You're going to say to Amanda, my beautiful, you look so damn good? No, but I'm, I wasn't done the sentence. Oh, OK, carry on. So I'll start again. I'd like to also thank my wife for looking so damn good tonight. No, really, she looks amazing all the time. Yeah, next. Jane's, Jane's pretty tough on me. I'm trying to be polite here. Good work to actually put pen to paper. But it just sounds as though it was the first thing that came into your head. It does come across as. Yeah? Yeah. I am supposed to make the best speech, so it helped me to figure out what I want to say and how to say it in a, uh, I guess, a more grammar way. Grammar good. Jane, better. Can I get you to help me with that? With one of my wishes? You want me to help you do it? Yeah. I'm happy that I chose the speech-making class as a second wish, and I know Amanda will be happy with it, too. I agree with Amanda. Lee does need some help with his speech. But to use it as a wish, haven't they got bigger fish to fry? So the wish is that you want me to help you and the bridal party write the speeches. Yes, but mostly me. Seven days till the wedding. Oh, no. And Amanda's got to keep working. we got to fit into that dress. No time for whining. Come on, Amanda, let's go. No My whining. legs hurt. No whining. Come on, let's no. go. Shush, come on. I said drill sergeant. I hate bridal boot camp. Next day, Amanda's boot camp goes mobile. What the hell? Go. OK, ladies, we're going to get started. Uh, switch. Want to come with me now? You want to come with me now? OK. <laughs> So if you want to bring out your babies, you can. If you're and Amanda goes flat out while Michael gets a workout of his own. OK. Good, good job, Amanda. Put down, up, 
all the way back down. Good, so you just lift it up slightly. Tank top. Good. All the way back down. Good. Okay, come on. While Michael chases Tessia, Jane has a play date of her own. I've been a Toastmaster for over 10 years. This is the most important speech of Lee's life. Are you ready for this? My wife and I... No, would like... my wife and I. Of course, it goes without saying how beautiful my bride looks tonight. Amanda. You see the gap? Yeah, 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 yeah. You made me the happiest man ever. Kiss. No, you kiss her. And, uh, and I over the past 18 months. Well, it's however long you've been planning the wedding or however long... It says 18 there. I know it says 18 in there. That's for example. Oh. My wife and I would like to thank you all for sharing this special day with us. Oh, you sound bored before you start. Of course, it goes without saying how of absolutely course. beautiful. Can we get some emotion in here, Lee? Get the sentiment and put it okay. into your words. From the pause. And how happy I am that you're standing here beside me. No, she's not standing. You're standing. Big thanks to my mom and dad for the way you've brought me up over the last 25 years. I must say <laughs> what a fantastic job you have done. Where's the big laugh I'm supposed to get, eh? Well, they're supposed to have done a fantastic job. I've given them the basics of where to start and how to write a speech, but it's now up to them. You really need to rewrite it and rehearse it, because if you don't, this could be one of the most embarrassing moments of your life. I'm not nervous anymore about making a great speech at the reset speech other. I'm not great. I'm not nervous about making a uh, great speech at the wedding anymore. The next day, Amanda gets a devastating letter. Penny, her best friend forever, can't afford to fly to the wedding. I'm really down. I'm really depressed. She's my oldest friend. She's the only one that's known me since I was a little tiny girl, so I really wanted her to be here. Amanda is absolutely devastated about this. I really wish I knew what to do here. I, uh, I just can't take one more thing going wrong. Well, it looks like Amanda made the right choice with Lee because he proves he's marriage material. I want to know if I can get a secret wish. OK. Amanda's friend from really far away is not going to be able to make it in. I have the money to get her here. I just don't have the time to find her. I'm on it. I'll track her down, I'll fly her in, and we'll give Amanda the surprise of her life. But the next day, when Michael and Jane check up on Amanda and Lee's list, they get a surprise of their own. What if we still got a couple of crosses? What's that? I haven't decided if I want a runner yet. Next one, marriage license. We've got a tick with that. Tell me you got the marriage license. No. No marriage license. What? You I, haven't got no, it? No, I forgot all about it. What time is it? We can't go now. Well, I have to. I have to go now. 50, it's like a five minute drive. Get all the right. paperwork. Okay. Get the paperwork. Um, okay, here. Let's go. Mike, you take the kids, okay? Oh my God. How are we supposed to get in? I think it's closed. No, it isn't forces. I don't see anybody in there. Oh, I see someone. I see someone. Hello? Excuse me. Oh, good. Here it comes. Hello. I'm sorry, we're closing. No, it's not quite 4 30 yet. We need a marriage license. A marriage license? Yeah, like right right now. Yep, I can do a marriage license. <gasps> Oh, skin off teeth. If he hadn't have opened the door, we'd have had no marriage license, we'd have had no wedding. With only two days till the wedding, Jane has to deal with another weighty problem. Wow. Target weight, look at that. Fingers crossed, she fits into the wedding dress. Wow, look at you. You want to turn around? Go that way. Can you? Ooh. I need you to put your hands. You would honestly, I can do. I can try and do that. It won't. You'll burst the zip. I mean, you've lost all the weight. It, it, it isn't the weight. It's your rib cage. Having a baby, it's it's made it expand. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I don't know. I just I'm ready to give up on it. I'd like to think of something. I'm really really upset for Amanda, a bride not to have a wedding dress, and she really loves that dress. 
To not get into it two days before your wedding, it's just disastrous. But back at HQ, Michael is sweating over one thing that could make it better. But are you Penny's neighbor? Hello, is this Penny's grandmother? You know Penny? Oh my gosh. Yahtzee, Michael's found the lost Penny, and Jane picks her up. And then they're off to make the wish come true. Hi. 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 This is all very secretive, isn't it? Welcome, Penny. I'm <laughs> so glad you're here. It means a lot to me to be here today. She's my all-time best friend, and I would never forgive myself if I wasn't there tomorrow. So while Penny gets a VIP treatment at a hotel, Jane uses her VIP connections to treat her bride. I've been keeping this shop at my sleeve for a special occasion, and this is it. This one didn't work. Do you want white? Do you want ivory? I prefer white, but I will take ivory if it fits. What about this one? No, it's white. That's got detail. I can barely breathe. Well, if you were a foot taller and Dolly Parton, it would look great. Oh, for goodness okay. sake. OK, what are we going to do? Because we are, like, not finding anything. This one doesn't fit either. Have we got anything else? Do you like the look of this one? That one's nice, yeah. Yeah, OK. Want to give it a shot? Oh, it's got detail. And it's it's got a small train. It fits. It's the right length. I like it. You're starting to look like a bride. <laughs> <laughs> we have a dress. I've uh, finally found a dress. It looks fantastic. She loves it, and it's the right price. But there's just no way that how everything is working out, something else will not go wrong before tomorrow. So Amanda scored a sweet dress, but still feels bitter. Maybe a cherry on top will help. I've just got one more dress to show you. Can you take another dress? It's not gold, is it? No. I know we're all I really like out. that one, though. I know, I know, but I'm sure you're really going to like this one. So close your eyes. Oh, God. This is the dress of your dreams. Open your eyes. See what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. Hi. I'm so happy to be here. Surprise! So is it a pretty dress? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beautiful I like dress. this one. I'll take this one. You'll take this one. Yeah. This is your wish number three. This is what Lee made come true. Uh, Isn't he so good to you? Yeah. That's your third wish. Well done, Penny. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> better than the dress. Oh, much better. <laughs> this is my very oldest and best friend. We've been friends since I don't know. Kindergarten? <laughs> yeah, for like 18 years. And Lee has used our third wish to bring her here because she couldn't make it to the wedding. So I got a surprise. <laughs> Very good surprise. <laughs> Magic wand. Fairy godmother Jane Dayas Hinch has put a dress on Amanda, put words in Lee's mouth, and put a smile on the bride's face with a lucky penny. <laughs> Are we ready for the big day? I can't find it. We look for a speech. Apparently not. It seems that Lee has lost his speech. We didn't find it. No. We have no idea where it is right now. So unless Lee has it all in his head, his Jane-inspired speech may be wishful thinking. But in the meantime, Amanda's head is destined for greatness. Amanda's been so busy taking care of everybody else's business that I've arranged this as a special treat for her. While Amanda gets pampered, Jane's back to work at the wedding site. Isn't this the most perfect setting? It's beautiful. With the sight set to perfection, Jane checks in with her less than perfect groom to be. Put your dress on. Penny! Come on, two minutes. We get her here from Labrador, and she's late with no dress. So where's the bride? Yeah, I thought it's just a second turn. No? You told me 205. You good. OK. I just have um, to get out and put this in. You guys my dress? Yeah. <laughs> Do we get her dress? So Penny's dress may be MIA, but Amanda's dress is looking smashing. We'll do that and point that so it okay. comes towards me. OK. And just like that, this fairy godmother turns fantasy into reality. 
Amanda and Lee, are you willing to publicly declare your love? My love will always be unconditional for you. I will stand by your side when things get tough and still tell you you're handsome even when you go completely gray. And you may seal your union with a kiss. Thank you for all your help. It was awesome. I really appreciate it. I like the dress. I love the dress. Actually, it's nice. It's I'm going to love it tonight when it's... No. <laughs> Thank you. When they told me they didn't have my dress, tears just came to my eyes. I was like, how can you guys forget my dress? Like, I can't go to a wedding in jeans and a t-shirt. But I'm here. I'll go back and get the dress for the reception. Jane! That is, if they can get to the reception. The limo broke down. There's no limo. There's no limo for the couple or for anybody. There's no limousine. The owner of the house, he has a nice car. OK. Go and ask David if he minds transporting the bride and bridegroom to the venue. OK, I'm on it. A crisis, I think. So now we have to arrange rides for everyone. Yeah. So, how many people are we talking then? Right. You've got a ride. I don't have a I ride. Don't have a ride. Yeah. Jeff One, can take two. Five with me. You've got a ride. Oh, I'm fine. You're fine. I've come back to try and sort this out. <laughs> awesome. I think we're going to take you up on your offer of the Buick. Oh well, that's fine. Uh... Is that all right? Yeah. The owner of the property is getting his car out, and he's going to transport the bride and bridegroom. Let's get the bride into her car. Okay. Look at that. We have a bride. We have a bride. the car. Magic wand. So Lee takes Amanda happily away on his trusty steed. But ahead lies his greatest battle yet, his speech. You got your speech? Um, yep. You Memorized. Yet. Memorized. Yep. So Jane bites her tongue, but then decides to help give Lee a fighting chance. Who are you toasting? It was at the end of the speech that we wrote. Toasting my bride. While it looks like Jane's got him off the ropes, let's just hope he can deliver the knockout punch. I gotta first thank my wife, and my new wife, Amanda, for just looking so beautiful tonight. Okay. Gotta thank her mom, too. Next, I need We to prepared and we rehearsed, and actually, he didn't do too bad a job. I love you. It was magical. Like, it's like mine and her heart were pounding together. It was just, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we got Penny here, and that was the most amazing wish. I was a little bit more nervous about getting married until Lee did that, and then I realized that if he's willing to do something like that for me, I've definitely picked the right guy. Good thing I did that. <laughs> ah. We have had a beautiful wedding. And Janie truly saved the day today. I did. Awesome. You did. I did. You did a great job. <laughs> I would just like to say thank you, and we really appreciate her being here and everything that she's done for us. Definitely she thank you. You come to our house anytime for, for gin and tonic. <laughs> Ow. Ow. I kicked my. Told man I wouldn't, but you never know what's coming. That's what you're gonna see at the wedding. <laughs> yeah? I'm not drunk right now, so I can't really do it. <laughs> <laughs>